this and here we have the starch grains so this is the double thin membrane and those are the gram discs granite discs. This is DNA strand. And those are starch grains. And of course this is the stroma. So uh, this is the green plastic. Here the grana discs are arranged along the green plast and the grana discs here are very important in the chloroplast and we will know why. Here we have the, the properties of the grana on the sting is 5 nanometers or 5 microns wide and the diameter of it is 0.5 microns and its wide is 0.7 microns we have also here the granites are all enclosed in a connective tissue and we have each granite consisting of 15 or more discs is a pile of 15 or more discs. We have the external membrane of the grana so that it extends from it to meet the external membrane of another granum to increase the surface area which is exposed to light so such a structure increases a lot the surface area of light absorption. Alright, this is our part. We'll talk about something else. Also about the grana. And we said that under the light microscope the grana appears as a green homogeneous substance. So of course as it has a color it must be a pigment that makes that color. So the grana contain pigments which form their colors. So we have four pigments, four main pigments We have chlorophyll A, we have chlorophyll B, we have dendrophyll, and we have carotene. So the chlorophyll A and the chlorophyll B together form 70% of the pigments in the granite. While the dendrophyll forms 
and the carotene at last forms only 5%, so the sum is 100%. Those are the four main pigments. And here the chlorophyll A is lemon yellow, D is blue-green, sorry, there's a blue-green, And the chlorophyll B is yellow green. The dendrophyll is lemon yellow. And the carotene is orange yellow. And that's why the green color dominates the other colors of the plastids, because those both two are green and they represent the majority of the pigments inside the chloroplast so they represent 70% and as a result the green color dominates over the colors inside the plastid so the plastid, most of the plastids have a green color and that's it for today that was our part and the next time we will talk more about the chlorophyll and see you next time thanks for watching